Hey, what is up? Montnia from FlipNose.com and today we're going to take a look at how you can customize your ZBrush UI. Pimp it out any way you like. Alright, so to do this, it's pretty simple actually. Uh, we just want to dock the preferences menu because this is the one we'll be using. And under config, the first thing you want to do is enable customize. Like there are a few th different things you can do. Like when you're in enable customize mode, you can move things around and add things. And like if you want to change the color of the UI or something like that, you would go under um, oh, um, eye colors. And this is where the all the colors of the ZBrush is stored. So, but let's just start off with the config one. So, um, like you can see here, my my UI is going to be um, uh, up for download. So if you want to check it out. Uh, you, you you can just go ahead and download um, but what I've done is I've removed a lot of the stuff that I don't really use and sort of focused <sighs> focus ZBrush around the things that I use it for um, so over here I'll have like my selection brushes um, I'm turning off the alpha and on and I'm turning on an alpha and stuff like that but it's very minimal because this is really all, all I need and then a few materials um, so all you need to do is hold down control and alt or command and alt if you're on a Mac and this lets you simply like drag things out move them around um, you can take anything from over here like any menu and simply just add it to your UI it's uh, yeah, you can make it look pretty sweet like that it's like a weird form of Tetris like it's really a <laughs> it's really a weird puzzle sometimes to like make it all fit in there but um, you can really do whatever you want and like say you never use any of this right and yeah so just go crazy with it and like I said I'll upload my UI so you can take a look at it um, and modify it any way you really want and in terms of colors uh, let's go to the eye colors here um, I didn't really like the orange color that that's default in ZBrush so what you can do to change up the colors here is any color in here um, you simply just go to the color, hold it, and then drag, and then you can see it changes color based on anything you touch. So, like this is the shadow color for for the standard swatches, and let's say I want to make that green, and then I want to make the rest of it like that. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And this it's gonna be like that. And all my buttons. Our sliders are red. Actually, let's make them pink. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So, really sexy UI um, to really get you into that 70s mode for sculpting. And just as a quick note, you need to save this before. Because um, if you just exit uh, ZBrush now, then it'll just go back to its default uh, UI. So, you want to go to your preferences under config and just say store config file um, I'm not gonna do that because uh, I don't like this but this is what you'll do you just say store config and what you can do like say you um, you have like a work desktop somewhere and you want to bring your sweet looking UI with you to work uh, you just save your UI and just I don't know mail it off to yourself and then you load it back in there um, and this way uh, you will always have it with you so it's really nice. There is like another. Oh, let's just there are a couple other things that I want to go through is in the in the UI options. Um, the button size, smaller buttons. You can really adjust the size of, of the buttons that you want. Um, so these are going to be these are thirty eight pixels wide. Like you could make them sixty pixels wide. Um, if you have like I don't know, fifty screens to work from. Um, just spread it across all your screens. Uh, it's going to be really nice. Um, one other thing that I also have turned off is the wide buttons. You can see, as soon as I turn this on, all of my buttons, uh, sorry, all of my buttons get a little wider. And I mean, I, I have this to sort of like minimize my UI. So I mean, you could do try it out, see if it works for you. Um, but basically, there's a lot of stuff in here to to play around with. So I would really just, I really just go crazy and make a UI and a sexy color scheme that works for you. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.